Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my BoxyCharm to share with you guys. I will be giving you all of my first impressions on all of the products and then at the end I will have a makeup tutorial using all of the items in today's box. So without further ado, let's get started. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, you might as well go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week, so please click that subscribe button. You don't want to miss out. Alrighty, so this month's theme is Glam Vibes Only. So the first item in the box is by Kate Somerville, and it is the Exfoliate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. Um, it's for all skin types, which is awesome. And this retails for $85. This is what it looks like. And oh, I like that. <laughs> On the cap, it has like a little smiley face. That's pretty cute. Oh wow, I was not expecting this to be a green color. Let's see if I can slowly squeeze this out for you guys. It is definitely green. It smells familiar, but it smells like very earthy. Like if you grind up all the plants, you would get this scent. But I will definitely try this out for you guys and I will let you guys know as always in the description box or on Instagram. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. But this is cool, this is for $85. So I'm very impressed as it is for price alone. So um, if I do end up trying it before this video goes out, then I will include a clip. is definitely burning my skin. I'm going to wash it off. I just tried out Kate Somerville the Exfoliate treatment as you just saw. I'm not sure if this is supposed to have like, you know, like the little menthol minty feeling, but it straight up felt like my skin was burning. Uh, it says to exfoliate in a circular motion for 30 seconds and leave up to two minutes. I couldn't even do that. I put it on and then I had to run to the bathroom because it was actually like burning like right here. It's kind of red if you can see. I know the lighting is not the best. I'm sorry, but I'm still recovering from it. <laughs> it's like tender. <sighs> yeah, I don't think I'll be using that. Uh... Yeah, especially if you have sensitive skin like me, stay away. <laughs> stay away from it unless you want your skin to burn. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I need ice. Ice. Does anybody have ice? Can I get some ice here? And the next item in the box is by Alamar Cosmetics and it's their Spanglish eyeshadow palette. And this palette is freaking gorgeous. Look how beautiful the colors are. I love colors like this. Purple and green are my two like absolute favorite eyeshadow colors to wear on my eyes and oh, when I saw these purples, I just, I love purples. And this one was so, so gorgeous. The only thing is it came completely like cracked and shattered so I had to really like press it back in. So that kind of sucked, but other than that, the colors were super, super gorgeous. It comes with a mirror, as you can see. <laughs> and I like that under each eyeshadow, it shows that you can use them either wet or dry. I did first start off using them dry just to see how the pigmentation was, but I definitely do prefer them wet because once you wet them, it just takes it to a whole nother level. So that was really, really nice. Whenever I do an eyeshadow palette review, I always try to use as many eyeshadows as possible in the palette. And for this one, I ended up using all of them. This is so I can get a good feel of all the eyeshadows and it's like a little challenge for me. So that was really fun using all of them. The mattes blended out perfectly. The metallic shades, I definitely would recommend you wetting your brush just to foil the eyeshadows so that it really brings out the pigmentation. Um, when it's used dry, I mean, it's it's all right, but it's not the best. So definitely use these wet. This one, 
especially had a lot of glitter fallout um, which is expected for a glitter eyeshadow of course i love glitter as you maybe already know but that is the only thing with glitter eyeshadows it's so hard to control the fallout other than the fallout and the eyeshadow coming broken i mean it's not like it was their fault but that's the only thing that i could find wrong with it i actually really liked this eyeshadow palette so yes highly recommend let me do just a few quick swatches for you guys i'll do two matte ones and two metallic ones so let's do this one and oh wow that's really nice this one Mm, this one and this one. Oh gosh. Okay. Those are those four shades. As you can see, this one is really, really crumbly. But look at the colors. Let me just swatch them on my hand. Wow, that is crazy. This one, even though it is the most crumbly, it's definitely my favorite shade. Um, let's see, it's called Pero Like. <laughs> so, so gorgeous, super pigmented. And even this one, the matte one, wow. Ponte Hyper, I think is how you pronounce it. So pretty. Alrighty, let's move on to the next item. So in this one's box, we actually got double the eyeshadow because we got the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Eyeshadow Duo, I guess. Um, one side is matte and one side is metallic. And I have been wanting to try these so, so bad. But these are $25 each. And I don't know, I, was, I just never got around getting one. I was supposed to get one for my birthday. But then the whole pandemic, I just didn't leave my house. So now I got one. And these are really amazing. I like these very much. The matte shade is called Faux Fur and the metallic shade is called Bamboo Hoops. The matte shade kind of looks like a concealer shade on me. It's very, very, very light. So these are both of the shades swatched side by side and I absolutely love this. Um, I can't wait to try out a few other shades. Um, this has got me really... Uh, curious as to how the other shades work out because this did really feel like like a concealer so I want to see what an actual like shade that's not the color of my skin <laughs> looks like and how well it blends out this did blend out pretty good but again I kind of used it as a base and so I couldn't really tell because it just it matched my skin tone and I heard that these eyeshadows don't budge so let's give that a try Wow. I mean, if you rub like really, really hard, it starts like flaking a little bit, but I mean, I'm not going to be rubbing my eyes like that. And the glitter on the metallic shade kind of spreads out, but the eyeshadows itself don't budge, which is amazing. And I noticed that the matte shade does dry darker, so keep that in mind. So hopefully, maybe you will see more makeup tutorials using this. Next, we have this beauty sponge by Billion Dollar Beauty, and it is their charcoal beauty sponge. It says it's infused with charcoal. This sponge is so velvety soft. I absolutely love this sponge. It's so nice. I, I really enjoyed using this. Um, I, I don't know if it drank up a lot of my foundation. I feel like I had to put on a lot of foundation this time but the end result was so flawless, especially when I was putting the powder for baking. Oh my gosh, this applied it so beautifully. It kind of like filled in my pores as well. And wow, I just, I really, really like the sponge. Even the texture, just, I can just do this all day. So soft. I even like this better than my Real Technique sponges. And I use the Real Technique sponges all the time, but I think I like this better, for sure. I like the feel of it better and the application is better. So I highly, highly recommend. And finally, we have this Laura Geller Lash Boss Bold Mascara. It says it's supposed to have a curling effect on your eyelashes. I curled my eyelashes and it didn't seem more curly than usual or anything like that 
in fact, it's usually, like, I didn't even curl my lashes very well, but um, I don't really see a curling effect. I haven't worn it long enough to see if it flakes or not. That's a huge pet peeve of mine. I hate when mascaras flake. So I need to test this out a little bit longer and see if it flakes. Um, but other than that, it was a great mascara. I mean, what more can you ask for? Um, it did provide a little bit of volume and length, which are two things that you have to have when you have a mascara. I just, th there's no point in me wearing a mascara if it doesn't volumize and lengthen, you know? So I always go for those kind of mascaras and this did a pretty good job. It's not the best that I've ever used, but it is still pretty good. If I were to choose my favorite makeup products in this month's box, I would have to say the sponge and also the Huda Beauty Duo eyeshadow stick. But the Spanglish palette comes in at like a third place. And the total for this month's box came out to $177. That is crazy. The value that you get for this box is amazing. Alrighty guys, you made it this far. Now it's time for the makeup tutorial using all of the products in this month's box. <laughs> Be honest with my happiness, don't know why I'm bad at this yeah. And I don't wanna sit in on my sadness I know it's a habit of mine
Alrighty guys, so that's it for this month's BoxyCharm unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys got in your box this month. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know down below. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!